Maria. I broke my arm. How do you like that? Well, I was attempting to install some solar panels on the roof of the van, and um, the way that I was standing, I was precariously balancing off of some of the, the, the plastic storage bin in the back, and that gave way, and I gave way with it, and I kind of tumbled to the ground and fell back on my wrists. So I sprained both of the wrists. Uh, but the left one is much worse. It happened about like 7 p.m. at night, and because I really hate going to the doctor because of the huge bills, um, I decided, let me just wait this out. I'll see if it uh, still hurts in the morning. Well, it did. It hurt way worse in the morning. Couldn't even move my fingers. It was starting to swell really bad. We even, we still, we went out for breakfast, and um, the lady was serving us, and I can't move my hand. It's immobile. So I said, oh, let me move this for you, and then I used my other hand to move my this hand out of the way so that she could serve food uh, so then after that then we went to the er had this cast put on it's not a real ca it's not a full cast it's uh sort of it's like do you see this well you can't really tell but basically it's just a long piece of the like, cast like material that when you get wet it hardens into place oh. Most of my pain at first was because of how tight they put the cast on there. I've loosened it up, it's a little bit better, but I am in complete pain, like, all the time. And <laughs> it's, like, really bad. Um, I'm taking, they gave me, they don't do Vicodin anymore, no prescriptions for that. So, uh, I guess there's too many pill poppers abusing their prescriptions. So they gave me, uh, hydrocodeine, I believe, like, some Tylenol 3 or something like that. So I broke my wrist in two places, I'll try to show you the... Put the x-ray on the screen there so you can see but basically like on my wrists on both sides like parts of the, the ends of the bones broke off and um but luckily this kind of break would heal on its own so even if i didn't go to the doctor they didn't have to reset the bones so i would have healed on my own if i hadn't gone to the doctor what does this mean for the trip i am completely immobile at this point um, I was laying down and I was having sort of a panic attack at night because it's a feeling you feel like you can't move and it's just like, uh, this is ruining my vacation plans. I wish this would have happened during like when I was working, then I could take like two weeks off of work and then actually rest and, but right now I've got all this stuff on my mind, you know, I've only got a, like a month and a half or about a month of vacation left. I don't know what to do. We have all these plans to go to Louisiana, Florida, but I, I, I don't know. I, I can't even do anything for myself. I mean, I'm incapable of doing the, the slightest of tasks, so I don't know that I can drive all that way. That's good, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm screwed, man. As far as this vacation goes, this is going to take a huge turn for me. I don't know what is going to happen in the future. I know that uh, my girlfriend's still coming out. Um, uh, the good thing is that uh, my cousin has uh, an apartment in San Antonio. They have this house and an apartment in San Antonio. So uh, they've got a lease for the next couple months, so nobody's using it, so we can go there. So I'll take uh, Tiffany there, and we'll hang out in San Antonio for a while, and we'll see if I can recuperate a little bit. And hopefully I can, and we can actually do vacation-like stuff. And right now, I'm just in a lot, a lot of pain. It's just constant pain because of the spring, even in my, up in my shoulder. Like, I just can't get comfortable at night. It's like <laughs> feeling, man. So this is like the, uh, this vacation took a turn for the worst. Hey guys, the director of the new Robocop movie saw this video and he got in contact with me. He said I'd be great for the next starring role in the new Robocop movie. But the catch is, I need to drive down to Hollywood and I don't have any gas money. Can you guys please send me all your money so that I can drive down to Hollywood and become a big star? I'm gonna be a star. Thanks for watching guys, get out there and live the dream, LTV.